Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 15.2 and to my surprise, this is an amazing update. I believe this is that update that will push people to update to iOS 15 from iOS 14. As you probably know, with the release of iOS 15, there was not much excitement, a lot of people didn't update and a lot of people haven't yet updated to iOS 15 from iOS 14, even though it has been weeks since the public release of iOS 15. But iOS 15.2 will change a lot of things. This is a big update. Even though it started kind of slow with the first beta, now it has amazing new features that most people will want to have on their iPhone. And I believe this update and these features will push a lot of people to update to iOS 15. Now, another thing that will push this video further and help out this channel a lot is the like button on this video. Simply leaving a like there will help the channel and the video a lot, so make sure you don't leave the video without smashing that like button. All right, first of all, let's talk about iOS 15.2 build number as it's sitting currently right now on beta three. So it's beta three and the build number ends with a B. That means that the public release is not that far away, but we will talk about that in details and talk about an exact release date in a few minutes. First of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the big new features that you will get with iOS 15.2. Now, currently on the music app, you can go ahead and search, of course, for music right here. We'll have your library and everything, but with iOS 15.2, you can also search within playlists that you have on your music app. So you go to your playlists, you go to one of them. Of course, you might have playlists that have a ton of songs on them. All you gotta do is just swipe down like this and they will get a search bar where you can go ahead and search for any song that you want to find on that playlist. iOS 15 also brought the new notification summary and new feature that will basically give you summarized notifications for a lot of apps that you choose. Of course, you don't wanna have notifications coming in all the time, you wanna have them summarized and of course be delivered at a certain time of the day. Now with iOS 15.2, you will get a whole new look and it looks actually really, really cool. This is a new design that you will get with iOS 15.2 and it looks much, much better. The lock screen, when you wake up or when you, whenever you get the summary, it will look amazing. Now, not it only looks good, it also has a very, very useful feature. Now, if you tap right there, the number of notifications, this is what you will see right now. Now, previously with iOS 15.2, one and older, you will have to actually tap right there on the three dots and clear this one by one. Now with iOS 15.2, you will be able to actually clear the whole notifications that you have on your summary. All you gotta do is just tap that X button right there, clear, and everything will be cleared from your notification center. That will make it much, much easier. And of course, very simple, tap the X button and the notification center is cleared. Now we're moving on to the real big features of iOS 15.2, a feature that Apple talked about previously. We didn't get it with iOS 15.0, not on iOS 15.1. It is here with iOS 15.2. It is legacy contact and you can find it when you go to your settings, you go at the top at your name right there, go to password and security and he will have legacy contact. Basically what this does, it lets you add a contact, someone that you trust, you love, someone from your family maybe, and they will be able to have access to all of your data. Of course, in a case that you pass away or something like that, God forbid him, but in that way you will have someone that actually can have access to your data. If you tap here, you can go ahead and add someone from your contacts or add someone you trust, share your access key and pass down your digital legacy to them. You will get all explanations right here and you can go ahead and add any of your contacts, someone that you trust. This is a really, really great feature to have probably will make a lot of people update to iOS 15.2. Now with the release of iOS 15, we got a new feature that is really, really important. You can find it right here under privacy, scroll all the way down and you will have app privacy report. Now, if you have a device on iOS 15 or 15.1 or even the new 15.1.1, you go here, you won't find anything. It's totally blank, but that's not the case with 15.2. Now we have here an interface. It will basically show everything that you need to know. So basically shows everything that has been using your data. 
from apps to like different websites, everything that has used your data will be shown right here. So you can see like different sections here, you will have data and sensor access. So if we go here, we have all the apps that have used our data and the sensors of our device, like the microphone or the camera. So if we go to messages right here, you can see it shows you what it has used the microphone, the contacts and the photos. So if we go here, it shows you the exact time when that app has used basically that sensor or that other app on your device. We can go to photos right here. You can see we have contacts, go to music. You can see media library. And of course you have app ne network activity right here. So if we go to one of the apps, you can see what it has used and everything else that it has used on your device from the IP addresses to different websites and all that. And of course we have here website network activity as well. So going here, we'll get all the different details, everything that basically these websites have been able to access on your device. An amazing feature to have. And now with iOS 15.2, of course, you get a full UI here to take a look closely at what is happening on your device and how your data and the sensors of your device are being used. Now with iOS 15.2 beta 2, Apple has added a new feature to the Find My App, which I believe is extremely useful, but they have actually removed it on beta 3. Still, we don't know whether they will be adding this on the public release or maybe even push it further away for another update, but it's actually really great. Now it used to be here, as you can see, now it has been removed. So basically, when you get these buttons, you will get another button to identify items that can track you. So with the release of air tags, you know, there's, it's very easy for someone to leave an air tag, maybe on your car or somewhere and just track you. But with that feature that would be right here, you wouldn't be able to actually identify those items that are not yours, that might be tracking you. That's amazing. Of course, a very, very useful feature. And I'm pretty sure Apple will add it very soon to iOS 15. So that has been here with iOS 15.2 to beta 2 was removed now on beta 3 hopefully it will be back with the public release of ios 15.2 as always, Apple goes big on privacy and now you can also find a new option when you go to seller data options. So you will have limit IP address tracking. Right here will have this button to enable limit IP address tracking by hiding your IP from known trackers, of course, in Mail and Safari. That now can be done also from the settings of your seller. So of course, you will get to use this feature when using seller data to access websites and mail as well very nice to have it is enabled by default so if you want to switch it on or off you can find it under the seller data options under the seller options on the settings app another great privacy feature can now be found on the mail app now you know that apple has added a great feature called hide my email so if you use icloud plus you will get that feature i don't so i don't yet have it on my iphone but what you get with iOS 15.2 is the option to hide the email from within the email app. So when you're starting a new email here, creating a new mail, what you can do is simply tap on your email right there and you will get the option to actually hide your email directly from here. This is new with iOS 15.2 and of course is very, very useful. You can do that individually for each new email you create. There is also a change on emergency SOS. Now, if you go here, you will have the option now to turn off call with five presses. So basically you press the side button five times to make an emergency call. Now you can disable that from here. Now let's just do that and see something new here as well. So if we go here, you can see now the countdown will actually start from eight. It doesn't start from five like it used to, it will now start from eight and it will count down of course to zero. As you know, on iOS 15, when you go to the photos library, you can simply swipe up on any picture and you can get all the details regarding that picture from the date it was taken, the hour, the exact camera with which it was taken and also all the camera settings. And now with iOS 15.2, you also get here the indicator for night mode. So if a picture has been shot with night mode, it also shows you the seconds right here and it now it gives you that indicator letting you know that that picture has been shot with night mode.
and on the TV app on iOS 15, you now get a new store tab. So you can get, of course, all kinds of different movies and TV shows from here. You can go ahead and explore movies. You will have two different sections, explore movies or explore TV shows with the all new store tab on the new TV app of iOS 15.2 iOS 15.2 not only has great features, it also works very smooth and of course the performance is great. Right here, the iPhone 12 Pro Max didn't have any problems whatsoever since the release of the first beta of iOS 15.2. And taking a look here at the results of Geekbench, we can see the CPU results right here. So here we have iOS 15.1 and then we have right here iOS 15.2. So taking a look at this score, we can see the single core score is basically identical. So we have 1605, we have 1606 here on the multi-core score. Otherwise we have much better performance with iOS 15.2. So we have here 4,199 on iOS 15.1 while on ios 15.2 we have an increase of 100 points so we have basically 4290 almost 100 points increase on ios 15.2 so actually the performance is great and of course even if you have like the newer devices the performance will be always amazing and really really smooth and battery life is not bad at all so it didn't have any problems no battery drain whatsoever i had like what like three or four weeks experience now using this software on my device didn't have any problems whatsoever battery life very consistent no ma major like drains or stuff like that it actually works really really good and i'm really gl glad with the battery life that i'm getting right here on the iphone 12 pro max with ios 15.2 and of course i have the battery health here at 98 percent so you can expect to be like good have good battery life and with ios 15.2 everything looks to be really really smooth and now let's talk about the public release date of ios 15.2 so currently we're sitting on beta 3 and i showed you the build number at the beginning of the video it ends with a b which means that we're getting another beta the build number will end with an A, then we'll get the GM or the RC version before the public release. So expect two more releases, so another beta, beta 4, and then the RC version. So they will take probably a couple of weeks as well, and then I believe iOS 15.2 should be released on the second week of December. That is the date that I believe iOS 15.2 will be released to the public. So that's basically like... A bit less than a month from now, but I believe that would where we can, will get iOS 15.2 probably on the 7th or the 8th of December. These are the two dates that I'm expecting iOS 15.2 to re be released to the public. So, of course, the question is, should you update or not? Now, this is a great update. As you could see from all these new features, this is an amazing update. And even if you're not on iOS 15 at all, you're still on iOS 14, I suggest you should go ahead and update. You will get these amazing new features. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is iOS 15.2. To my surprise, an amazing update. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.